Hello, my name is James, and I want to share with you guys today about a tool called SurveyMonkey. Um, this is a really great tool that will help that is used to create your own surveys in your classroom, um, whether you want to hear back from parents or get specific information from students. Um, this is something that you can use. So a little closer look at what SurveyMonkey is. Like I said before, it's an online survey tool. Um, with this program, you can create specific surveys or quizzes to su suit your needs to, and to collect data from a specific group. Um, whether you want to administer an online quiz, receive feedback from students about um, an assignment or the class, or if you want to hear back maybe from parents on whether or not they can attend a school field trip, this is something that you could use in your classroom. Um, also, SurveyMonkey has an advanced analytics program, so the information that you receive from people, uh, whether or not a student's saying something about the class or different things like that, you can view it um, in a way that will help you make sense of that information. Um, rather than having to tally up check marks or different things like that, you can just look at this and it will instantly tell you um, the broad picture of what is happening with the survey that you give out or handed out. Something that's really nice about SurveyMonkey is it's free, or it has different options, but one of the first options is free. So it's useful for people who have a low budget. Um, depending on what your needs are, you can use it for different things. Each option is a little bit more expensive, but again, it gives you um, more variables of things that you can change in your survey, as well as um, offers more people who can use it. So the first option is the free plan. Um, with the free plan, you can have up to 10 questions on your survey or quiz that you create. And then you can have as many as 100 responses. And then with the next plan up, this is the first paid plan, the select plan, it is $228 a year. And it gives you more um, things that you can change in the survey and allows you to change more of the looks of the surveys as well. Um, the gold plan, this is the most popular plan that SurveyMonkey offers, and it is $300 a year and has everything the select plan has with many op more options for specific edits to the survey and the data retrieval, so different ways that you can map out and view your data that you receive. Um, the platinum plan is $780 a year, it has everything with the gold and um, offers a little bit more. With a lot of those other plans, there's like a cap on say the number of questions you can have and stuff, but with the, um, the that plan, most things are unlimited. So looking at, again at some uses for SurveyMonkey, um, it is, gives you easy to manage feedback from students. Um, sometimes if you're having students fill out either things on paper or just asking them uh, questions directly, sometimes that can seem, um, there's some students who maybe don't want to talk or don't want to write as much, so it gives you an option or an opportunity to approach them in a way that most of them are familiar with, which is um, on the internet or a survey in that sense. Better connect with parents, learn from students how to better shape the course for their needs, and then collecting information about interests in after school programs, have students evaluate assignments, uh, get other teachers' opinions about topics, school surveys, and so much more. Some of the articles that I looked at and read that I found really interesting was uh, teachers who use SurveyMonkey to actually uh, change their, their class and how they were teaching. Um, so they, throughout the year they would have students take surveys about what they were learning and then through that the teacher would uh, change the rest of the curriculum for the year. And I thought that was really interesting. Um, it could be really useful in your classroom. So if you want to learn more about SurveyMonkey, you can look at my brochure. I have some uh, articles that I read and as well you can go to that website and just learn more about that. So thank you.